For this drive, I took the highway from southern North Carolina into the southern edge of the Blue Ridge Mountains. The charming city of Asheville is here, nestled in a valley near North Carolina's southern border with both Georgia and South Carolina. It was a bright, warm fall morning. The day was Tuesday, October 13th, 2020, just before noon. For this drive, I'm going to begin downtown and drive outside of downtown to the city's northern fringes and then turn back around and head back downtown. I want to give you a perspective on what the city is from an architectural and cultural standpoint. And at the end, there's going to be some bonus footage of some of the other fringes of town. But for right now, we're going to focus on downtown. And this was a unique time for a drive through Asheville as it came during the global pandemic. Therefore, many area restaurants and bars were temporarily closed or at limited capacity. Asheville is home to just about 100,000 people and is a major tourist destination due to its proximity to the mountains, which offered tons of waterfall hiking as well as river adventures. This time of year is the most popular as people come from all over the country to check out the autumn leaves, a place of hiking, hippies, beer, and beautiful mountain views. Also nearby are the Biltmore Hotel and the Sierra Nevada Brewing Headquarters, both which draw a lot of people too. It's a college town, home to UNC Asheville. The city has a minor league baseball team. It has large hospitals, too many breweries to count, boutique shopping, and is a magnet for artists. Thusly, it's a very liberal community. It's very quirky and charming, but it's also changing too. Asheville's fairly young, as a large part of the permanent population are college students, hospital workers, or service professionals like bartenders and servers. But Asheville's slowly becoming less diverse and is losing its funky original charm because of gentrification and rising housing costs. It's mostly clean, but along some side streets and along downtown, it's a little rough around the edges. Apparently, it's getting worse. Many longtime Asheville folks have complained that the city has lost its charm. They say it's too liberal, too elite, too snobby, and has grown too fast. The influx of new trendy condos and hotels has made traffic worse, parking harder to find, and it's strained the city's infrastructure. Some say the new hotels and modern buildings have ruined a once perfect view of the nearby mountain ridges.
The area of downtown we're approaching has a large park and amphitheater nearby. It's right in the center of downtown. And this is really the only hub for homelessness here in Asheville, and a smallish crowd of vagrants and homeless gather here near the center of downtown at the park to make loud noise and litter and beg and sleep. I took this photo at night. One of the homeless individuals said he didn't appreciate me taking his picture and demanded I give all the homeless people in the park $20. I refused. But for the most part, outside of a three block area in the center of downtown, there isn't much in terms of litter, open drug use and beggars, but according to locals, the small amount of drug use and homelessness and criminal activity is far worse than ever. A lot of people complain about the escalation in crime since the population here is growing so fast. There's all sorts of cool little neighborhoods near downtown Asheville. One of them's the River Arts District on the far southwestern side of town. Here, they've done a great job of turning old, empty industrial warehouses into a place for artists to work and live cheaply. There's dozens of such buildings which span many blocks on this side of town.
Asheville's changing fast though, folks. Locals say it's becoming an overpriced tourist trap. It has a hippie vibe with a cosmopolitan face. And tourists say it's not as charming as it once was either. There just isn't a lot that remains today of what made Asheville an incredible place to live. Its charm, its character, its community, and its uniqueness. It kind of caters to the wealthy and to tourists more now than ever. And now that modern America has finally stuck its claws into this mostly peaceful community, it's not going to be what it once was ever again. It's not going to be that quaint mountain town anymore. It's still an amazing place, but it's just not the same. The north end of town gets pretty rural fast. Just outside of town are roads, which go into neighborhoods tucked into hillsides and highways deeper into the nearby mountains. So here's a little bonus footage of what rural Asheville looks like.
Hey guys, if you learned something new about America or what it's like to live in America, great! You should think about subscribing and turning on your notifications. You can also click one of these videos or playlists for more. You can also now buy my songs on iTunes and other formats. Click the link in the description. Thanks for watching. And remember, while we all might have different views, we should all be nice to each other and try to make the U.S. a better place in a positive way. This is Sage Nick's manager. This has been a Corner House Entertainment production.